Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Friday, August 27th. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm on the traditional ancestral enunciated territory of the Shimshan people, privilege I gratefully acknowledge. Our worship this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. We are on the eve of the Feast of St. Augustine of Hippo in North Africa, a theologian bishop who formed and continues to form much of our thinking, especially on catechism and practical theological matters. So tonight we pause and are still at the end of a week, knowing that we're surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love as we come to pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is a portion of Psalm 102, found on page 500, 459. Page 459. We shall say verses 19 through 28 together. For he hath looked down from his sanctuary, out of the heaven did the Lord behold the earth, that he might hear the mournings of such as are in captivity, and deliver them that are appointed unto death, that they may declare the name of the Lord in Zion, and his worship in Jerusalem, when the peoples are gathered together, and, their, and the kingdoms also, to serve the Lord. He hath brought down my strength in my journey, and shortened my days. And I will say, O my God, take me not away in the midst of mine age. As for thy years, they endure throughout all generations. Thou, Lord, in the beginning hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure, and thou shalt wax old as doth a garment, and as a vesture shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. The children of thy servants shall continue, and their seed shall stand fast in thy sight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of Matthew, beginning in the 23rd chapter at the 8th verse. Jesus said, But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. Neither be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Christ. The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Tilucus Antiterminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears infanticize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. 
Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty, most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. We say together the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for this the eve of St. Augustine of Hippo. God, ancient of days and forever new, you are the light of the minds that know you, the life of the souls that love you, and the strength of the hearts that serve you. Remember, we pray, your servant Augustine, and grant us so to rejoice in his teaching and holy life, that we may set our minds to, on the beauty of your truth and, the, and order our desires by the rule of your Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit, we beseech you, Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulchre, and didst thereby sanctify the grave to be a better hope to thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of thy passion that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. 
Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I have moved my bookmark. I invite your prayers for the, and petitions for the people and places that are upon your hearts this night. Inviting you to name them out loud or share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus. For those who are in hospital, the increasing numbers across this country as the fourth wave takes hold. For those who are recovering at home. For those whose recovery is longer and complicated. For those awaiting test results, for those who are awaiting the vaccines, for those who are trying to make decisions about their plans for the fall because of this wave. We pray for God's strength and peace be upon them. God's healing hand guide those who have care for them. We pray for those who are suffering in other ways, for those struggling with mental health issues, for anxiety and depression. And for this night, we pray for all who are suffering in grief, for those who grieve the loss of loved ones from COVID, from suicide, from cancer, from all other ailments. For those who walk in the shadow of death, that they may remember God's promise to be faithful to us, especially in death. We pray for all who are not able to grieve as they normally would and, and mourn publicly as they are accustomed to because of the coronavirus. We pray for those who are grieving so many other losses, the loss of home and stability because of the wildfires, thinking particularly the people of Lytton, and across this nation, continent, and, and hemisphere. For those who are struggling with losses of employment, food security, those struggling with losses of culture, of safety. For those who feel tossed about this night. We pray God's peace be with them. We pray for all who struggle with addictions. For all who are awaiting doctor's appointments, diagnoses, and surgeries. For all who are recovering from surgeries. And all undergoing treatments, therapies, and procedures. God will support and encourage their family and friends that support them. And guide with wisdom and compassion those who have care of them. We pray for our communities for the return of restrictions, for those who are planning fall activities, and especially thinking of things like hockey and figure skating, volleyball, basketball, all starting up shortly, and for the care that needs to be taken into planning those. For those who lead in the provinces and territories, for the MLAs, and in this province, our Premier, the Cabinet, and the work of Dr. Henry, and all the provincial health officers. For the administration of the vaccines and for trying to determine what is best to maintain our health system and to keep us safe and to ensure that the vaccines are used completely. We pray for all who lead, uh, or all who are 
offering themselves up for election as we head towards the general election in a few weeks. For those who are out on the campaign trail at this time, as they make known their beliefs and their hopes and their plans for the future, and for us to be able to hear through all the noise what they're saying to us. We pray for those who lead internationally, for those who lead around the world, for those trouble spots, praying for Afghanistan, particularly the women and the girls. We pray for Myanmar, Syria, the Holy Land, Israel and Palestine, for Uganda, Nigeria, and remembering the two Michaels in China. We pray for places struggling with natural disasters, remembering this night to Haiti. Praying for the people there, for the lack of government, the chaos, the limited medical resources, and the ongoing effects of earthquakes, aftershocks, and, and hurricanes. We pray for the ministry of the church in these places and around the world. We pray for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, Mark McDonald, the National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, for all who lead in the parishes, clergy, and lay. We pray for the Diocese of Edmonton as they prepare to consecrate their new bishop, on the 18th of September, we pray for this diocese as we prepare for Synod in two weeks. And we pray for the province as that prepares for Provincial Synod in three weeks. We ask God to bless these gatherings, both in person and virtual. And so we pray all your prayers along with these as we offer our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us, and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your thanksgivings for this day. I am thankful that the Synod packages are out and that the myriad of mistakes uh, I think were limited, although I suspect there's some, going to be some doozies yet that are found, um, but they're out. I am thankful for um, the, the other administrative stuff that got done today and for Facebook playing somewhat nicely over the daytime and praying that um, tomorrow and Sunday's services aren't inverted. You'll see. Um, and, and thankful for uh, a brief video chat with the folks tonight. Or today. Tonight, yes. Yeah. So, and for a really nice light drizzle. Um, enough to, to, to keep everything green, as it were. So, with your prayers and thanksgivings, we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For life and health and safety. For power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in the creation of law, in the in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children, we praise and magnify Thy holy name. But above all, we praise Thee for we thank Thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page, 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
the Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless, keep, and preserve you this night, indeed, forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our holy hug on the way to bed. I pray you have a most restful night. Uh, even if you're sleeping on the side of the road, Mr. Dean, who's on his way back. Um, and we pray for those who um, are able to gather tomorrow at 12.15. Uh, I'll be on the road at the time, so there's a pre-record service for a midday prayer tomorrow. So I'm heading to Camp Caledonia for some meetings. And But, God willing, I will be back tomorrow at at 9 o'clock for a service of Compline uh, here, God willing. Until then, nighty-night.